So now then I want to be able to click on one of these images and this to take me through to an individual page that I can share. And this will be obviously using the hash that we generated earlier. So let's start out with the root and then we will hook this up in our view to be able to click through and then we will start to add everything that we need. So over in our views then, let's just create the uh, view that we need. So we're gonna just call this show.twig, you can call it whatever you like, but this is going to be the individual image. So I'm just gonna type anything in here just so we can see that this works. So now we will create a new root. So just down here, much like we did for the index and the upload, we want to say app get, and we can say image. And then in here, we want to be able to pass in the hash into the URI. And then we have our callback as usual. And into this, we pass in our request as well. So we can grab this and we want to use app here as well. So it's within the scope of this closure. So now we need to do the following. We need to pull the image from the database. We need to check if it actually exists, first of all, and then we can redirect if it doesn't. And then we want to render the view, passing in that image and then just displaying it as we've done uh, within the home page. So the first step then is to grab this from the database. So remember we say app DB we create a prepared statement because of course we're using something that is going to be defined by the user. And into this, we pass our query. So in this case, it's going to be select uh, all, com uh, it doesn't have to be all columns, it can just be the URL actually from the images table. And this is where the hash equals a hash placeholder. And then we can execute this query, passing in the hash from the request. And we get this from uh, our request object just here. So we pass in the hash property and then into this, we want to say request get hash and we are done. So now we want to obviously fetch this as an object because remember we're working with that image model just in case we want to add any methods in there or anything else. So I'm going to overwrite this image and I'm going to say image fetch and then we're gonna choose PDO fetch object or rather sorry fetch class and then we want to pass in our image class which is AI models image and we grab the class name like so. So now if we just do a var dump on this image just to check that this is working we can hit this URI directly using one of these hashes. So let's take the first one here and we will duplicate this. We'll go over to image, we'll paste this hash in, and oh, it looks like no fetch class specified, so let's just check this. Ah, so what we might need to do in this case, we might need to say image set fetch mode, and then pass in this, and then pass in our class, and then this should then give us the right result. There we go. So don't worry about this. This is just because we haven't returned any response. But what we now have is that URL and we have that uh, URL that we can pass through to the upload care library. So we can render our view out now, knowing that we can pass the correct image through to this. So we just return app and we use twig to render out that view that we created, which is show.twig. And as we did with the home page, we want to just pass in this image like so, and we are done. So now if we just head over here, we see that image uh, view that we created, but obviously we're not doing anything with this just at the moment. So over on show then, we can update this to output the image, and then we'll go back and update our styles uh, just so this looks a little bit nicer. So we can actually grab the kind of template from this. We're gonna get rid of most of this. We're gonna get rid of the script, obviously, because we're not uploading on this page. And we can get rid of all this as well. We just want this kind of stuff here. So I'm gonna create a new class, and this is gonna be called Thumbnail. Inside of this will be an image. Again, I'm gonna get rid of the alt, but make sure you do include an alt with a description of what the image is. And inside of this, I can use upload care again. So we can say image.uploadcare and we can grab the file 
pass in the image URL, use get URL, and of course you can pass through any other options you want to this. If you want to add filters, anything that Upload Care can do, you can call a method on here. Or if there isn't a method available, remember you can use OP to set something uh, specific like we did on the home page. So here then we're just going to have thumbnail image. Now I could have done a better job at renaming these or at least naming them, uh, but essentially this is different from thumbnails image and this is different from thumbnails. So let's head over to our styles. In actual fact, we can preview this first of all, and you can see that's working. Let's go over to our styles. I'm going to kind of uh, keep what we had here, but we're going to add this to uh, our thumbnail as well. So we can see that that was already improved. And then we can just add some very specific styling uh, for the thumbnail image and uh, all of that kind of stuff. What we want to do though, is just down here, we want to set the thumbnail width to auto, and we want to set the thumbnail height to auto. So if we have a look here, that will just go ahead and uh, put this at full width and full height, depending on the height of the image. So we'll upload a larger image in a minute, just so you can see how this looks. So for the thumbnail image then, because this could be larger than the container, which we'll preview in just a moment, we want to set a max width of 100%. So remember that is this image here. So we don't want this to exceed 100%. So now then we can click on any of these images and well, we actually can't, we need to update this. So we'll update this in just a moment, but theoretically we could click on any of these images and now see a shareable link that we can uh, send off. So let's just very quickly then go and update our links on our homepage, which is just here. Now we haven't actually given this root a name just here. So we can go ahead and do this now. We call the bind method and we're going to say image.show. Now to actually generate the URL here, remember that we did this earlier uh, over here. We used the URL helper with image upload. This is going to be slightly different now because what we need to do is say something like URL image show, but of course we need to pass the hash into this. If we don't do this, uh, it's going to look a little bit odd or we actually get an error for this. So we need to pass in a hash. So we use an object for this and we say hash image dot hash. So that's coming from this loop, remember. And now we should have a full path built up. We can click through and we can view uh, each of these images. So I'm just going to upload a slightly larger image just to see how this looks. Of course, I can crop this if I want to, but I'm not going to just to see how it performs. And now you can see we have a image just here. I can go and click on this and you can see that this is uh, filling the entire width of this container. Well, it's not because it's not wider than the container, uh, but essentially here we just have a very uh, large image. Perfect. So with that done, we can now upload images. We can crop them. We can display them on our homepage. We have a nice responsive uh, Flexbox container set out and we can click on each individual image and go ahead and share it. So there we go. That's how easy it is with a very simple framework using Flexbox and using Upload Care to process our image uploads.